Okay, this week we continue our series on the commandments of auditioning. Number seven. Thou shalt pay attention to personal hygiene. Whenever I attended casting director workshops in Hollywood, I usually ask the, quest, the question of the casting director, you know, what's your pet peeve? They always have a Q&A and I say, what is your pet peeve? And an answer I almost always got was they didn't like shaving lotion and perfume. Now, uh, we want, when we go for an audition, we want to be neat and clean, you know, so we, you know, we show up all freshly showered and scrubbed, uh, neatly groomed, hair combed if you have any, whenever possible. Uh, guys though tend to take a <laughs> guys tend to take a shower then and slap on a bunch and a shave and then slap on a bunch of shaving lotion uh, way too much most of the time honestly just like a little dab behind the ears or on the wrists will do it. I had a casting director one time. He's head of casting at Universal, as a matter of fact. He bought himself a new Acura, and he said, I bought a sunroof because after shaking hands with people all day long with 50 kinds of shaving lotion on them, you know, I drive home with my hands sticking out the top, okay? So remember, just a little bit is all you need. Don't use more than that. Same for you ladies, too. After a day of interviewing dozens of you gorgeous creatures, each of you coming in wearing your own lovely scent, uh, the office smells like the cosmetic counter at Macy's. Another thing to remember, too, is uh, often it, it gets hot here in Sacramento. It also gets hot in Southern California. And even if it's not hot, sometimes when you're going into an audition, people have uh, to account for their nervousness. And that's where deodorant comes in. Don't be afraid to use it. Okay? Don't try to cover it up with perfume. Just Use a little deodorant. And don't try to use too much your cologne or too much perfume. And also avoid smoking just before you go to an audition. Casting offices are usually kind of small and smells will linger. Um, you know, that, that can lead to an audition experience that's really not good for the casting director. Might give them a bad impression. You don't want to do that, do you? Making sense? Okay, next time. Number eight, thou shalt be nice to the casting director.